Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about products I didn't use in a while. So I shopped my stash and I hope you like the look which I will do and uh, yeah. If you want to see what I grabbed and how the look will turn out then just keep on watching. Okay, just uh, look at this beauty. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't do that. Uh, I did my brows already because I didn't have any like interesting product, if you will. And now let's see what we do for primer. We do have a lot of primer. And I do have to say, primer wise, I think I want to use... Which one do I want to use? I think I want to use this one by Etude. This one, that's fine as well. This is the Etude Face Blur and I think I want to use this one because I didn't use that in quite some time. Okay, the primer I grabbed is the Etude uh, Face Blur Smoothing Primer. This has SPF 33 PA++. I don't know what that means. Um, this one has 1.23 ounces or 35 grams. I remember liking this. Oh, okay. It is a little bit of tint. Or it has a little bit of tint, which I mean, that's great. Let's try that on my face. And you definitely can tell I have a bad skin situation here. Let me... I think when I remember correctly, I did like that when I bought it. I think this one is quite old though, so. But it does. Definitely smells all right. So I don't think it gives any like coverage, if you will. But it also don't have a white cast, which that is amazing. I think I will let that sit just a minute. I will do my concealer because I don't like grab another. I just have one concealer. So uh, I will grab that and then I will show you what I picked for foundation. Let's come to foundation. And I, I listen, these are all my foundations. And this is the Catrice one, which is the tinted serum. I do have the best skin, the bare minerals. Uh, super stay then we do have this one and the purito and then for foundation I am thinking about this one which is the Catrice tinted serum this is not focusing guys but I am uh, like t uh, showing you the products in a close-up of course when I do a look and you can definitely see it did separate but it's a few serum so hopefully this is right if not uh, we all will be right back but yeah that is the foundation I want to use as for foundation, I grabbed the Catrice uh, Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. This one is in shade 004N, which I know that this range is really, really light. Listen, normally uh, this one is, I think, also quite light. Normally I have like the lightest foundation they have. And <laughs> if I grab this one in, I think there is a 001, uh, I think I would even look more like a ghost which i mean that's exciting on uh, one hand to be honest um this one has a dropper and i'm trying here to get uh this and i had to shake that and i'll just well it doesn't look bad let me get a mirror as well again this range was a really really light one which listen i'm not mad about that because again normally i do have the lightest foundation and even then this normally seems to be not light enough because i am pale af and i know that uh one like um one girl on instagram i think or tiktok was like having 002 and she was like yeah felt the same about that listen because again this is like really really light again I like that quite a bit and I think in general I like the foundation it has a good medium coverage uh, or light to medium coverage it is quite billable and you can definitely tell it does look really nice and it definitely 
goes good with my skin which is great i think this one is a little bit more of a matte finish or natural finish uh that was the one where i preferred the l'oreal um foundation like the one in the dropper as well because that one has a like a little bit more of a natural glowy finish and this one again seems to be a little bit more um yeah matte in general let me go with a blush first uh as my next pick let's come to my bronzer and a blush drawer to be honest there are no bronzers in here because oh well here's a contour by elf but this is the only one because i I am not owning a lot of them and this one is also like a contour stick uh, which yeah that's that's the only two like contour shades or anything in that direction I do have a lot of Kaleidos blushes these are quite my favorite to be honest and the two colors I use the most are also in my uh, stash I do have also this beautiful cat um, blush and this one which i also liked a lot from palace identity which is the peony one i do have one from bobby brown i think though i want to use the one from anastasia because i didn't use them in quite some time this one is in latte and this one is a cream one and we do have a brush on the other side which i'm not planning on using but this one as a cream blush because i decided on a cream blush i will go with my anastasia beverly hills cream blush and this one is in the shade latte latte whatever it is this one is uh, a little bit more neutral leaning pink and i will try to just put that on my fingers this is the shade to be honest, yeah, then I will try to like bring that in. This is a really nice formula and again, this is a really nice shade. Just wished uh, to be like a little bit more neutral, if you will. Because this one is, at least for me, seemingly a little bit more like cool toned, which I'm not quite a fan of to be honest i thought this would be a little bit more brownie toned which i mean yes it is but again this worked quite well like look at this it's so pretty and yes on the second run i just put that on with the stick and that worked great again i do think this color is really really pretty like look at this such a pretty color i will set that down a little bit because we will go in with some powder products next and um, yeah I think that will be so much fun let's go with some bronzer again I don't have a lot of bronzing products or contour products so I will just use my peripera ink V shading in the 03 hazel gray uh, this one is normally the one I'm used used like in the beginning hi honey that is wake awakening. I would just use that on the printer and everywhere I would like normally bronze or contour. Again for me because I am pale AF this one would be fine just as a bronzing powder but I'm high maintenance and I will use of course a second one like I mean look at this this is great I think uh, again for the price tag but also like for color wise i would be fine with that but i also want to use the uh, pat mcgrath one so it gives me a little bit of warmth and then like i said just a little bit of that and again i don't have a lot of bronzing products like five or so if if any at all and uh, yeah again i don't have any concealing products i have one concealer if you know a good like concealer that you would recommend maybe also a newer one then leave it down in the comments below because i am definitely interested in that see just to give it a little bit of warmth and that's everything i do like both of these products they're really really nice let's see what you get as a second blush product or like powder blush.
to complement this because this one is of course a liquid i will maybe go in with some becca when this one these ones are quite old um this one is in a uh, songbird and i think that one with it with this one quite good so for blush i will use these ones and again for bronzer i will use my regular bronzer because i don't have any others so let's do that okay let's do blush uh i decided on going with songbird by becca and <laughs> listen this stuff is old i think i bought this one it's not quite listen i was like oh well that will fit down no it will not but we will go with this anyways I bought these, I think, when Jaclyn Hill loved these. And I mean, do we have to talk about that this is like years and years and years ago? I probably don't think so. But again, these are, these are so pretty. And Songbird is indeed one of my favorite colors uh, because it's like a, like, listen, it's, it's an ONG shimmery blush. What should I say? Should I like throw them out? Probably. Again, bet they are from like 16, 7, like no, it's not 17. I think 16, 15, something around that time. Again, I do have the other one as well. Like she recommended two blushes and the sheep I am, I bought both of them. Which I mean, again, they perform nicely. And they don't smell bad, so I have high hopes that they are still good. Maybe, maybe they aren't, but yeah, let's let's see about highlighter though. Let's start on my uh, highlighters. Um, these are my highlighters. You see, I did declutter quite a few in the last declutter. I will link all the declutters down below. And now let's see what I want to use today. We do have some from Be Perfect. These ones are really, really pretty. We have two colors here. <clears throat> and I think though, I do want to maybe use something. I don't even know. Maybe I want to use, I think I want to use one of those Pitsy duos. I didn't use them quite in some time. And I think I will go with the classic, which is uh, Delicate Duo. Because, uh, listen, I didn't use them in quite some time. And this is a stunning duo. And you can definitely tell I did like them a lot. So we will use this one. I am super excited for highlighter, though, because these are the Pixie by Petra uh, Goss Glowy Gossamer Duos. I I know that these were like popular in like years and years, but you can definitely tell I used them quite a bit. Uh, this one is again Delicate Do, which I think like they seem to be similar-ish uh, by depth level for the subtle sunrise. I'm not not sure. And normally I mix these, and you can definitely tell I had a face where I absolutely love and like mix these together and let me like put them on oh, like look at this <laughs> these are so pretty definitely can overdo them listen you can and you will if you're not like carefully but i mean i'm i'm from a time where that was totally on trend uh that you overdo everything and um yeah this is so pretty i totally miss these again these are like quite quite uh, like look at this they're quite pretty i absolutely love this uh let's come first to, to lips i will line my lips and then we will see what i pick for lipstick these are all like probably no it's not all Hello. I think these are all my lippies and you definitely can tell I did uh, like didn't have so many said the woman that yeah we don't do that here let me grab to be honest this one this is the Star Wars listen it's not going to focus because it does try to focus on something else but this one is the Star Wars and Colourpop collab in Supreme Ruler I think this is a really deep red and I think that one 
will be super duper pretty. So let's go with this one. Well, I did do a more nude, like listen, I'm just doing a nude lip liner because I have it on hand. But of course the uh, lipstick La Restance. La Piece La Restance is of course the Star Wars uh, and Cult Pop lipstick in Supreme Ruler. <laughs> listen. I'm not, normally I'm not going to use like really, really deep lipstick. And so I thought like, listen, we're going to shop by stash. Let's do this. This will be fun. Again, this is a uh, Supreme Ruler. I think in general, let me swatch that for you. That's the color. Definitely see it's not quite like as deep as um, like in the uh, packaging but yeah I definitely need like listen I need concentration for that so let's do this uh, by the way the formula of these are really really pretty uh, really nice you can of course share them out if you want to um, let's see uh, if I do that or not because yeah we'll see about that just step that on a little bit Let me finish this up because uh, I'm I'm nervous here. That's so pretty. Like, look at this. It's so pretty. Definitely wouldn't do like uh, a whole lot on the eyes. Like, look at the palette I chose. Well, let's come to palettes. I do have two whole drawers. This one and then this one with palettes. Sorry for that. And I think though I want to do a more green look and listen, I do want to add the Kaleidos Flower Punk because I do love this palette, but I just forgot that I own it quite some time. And yes, I do definitely need to clean up uh, in this. So I want to use the Flower Punk and uh, let me see, maybe I do, like listen, I do have quite a few <laughs> palettes in here. Let me see if I can like add another palette or maybe some special shades or something thinking maybe the Linda Hallberg or I think I want to use maybe my multi-chrome stack or let me listen or if I do want to do something let let me put that maybe I will use this one or let me search yes I know it is messy in here this one I want to use the dancing in the sky palette listen this one is stunning and it has a lot of stunning greenish shades I think this one will be the one I want to use with the flower punk this is one of uh, a few palettes from Kaleidos I don't use as often as I would love and this is the flower punk uh, palette this one is quite uh, interesting because you can unattach the mirror which I absolutely love to be honest because then you can really like go in and see what you do uh, which again I do really like uh, this is the color story and I absolutely would love to use again the gloss cards as well so we'll see if I can do that and how we will do that uh, first of all I think we will start with chlorophyll which is this green shade. We will start with that. No, let me start with Golden Age. I think Golden Age will be a good, like, focus point. <laughs> Listen, that was ASMR. Um, again, I do like this because you can, like, use it for your eyeshadow. And I didn't see that on any other brand. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I'm starting with Golden Age and the uh, Singe Beauty EO3. Welcome to my face. Again, I will use the EO3 from like uh, Singe Beauty. Again, I didn't use the palette in quite some time. I think maybe because I've tried a few of the color stories so far and I did like them, but uh, yeah, the colors also are a little bit more, 
uh, let's say not the colors itself but the color story is quite unique and so for me like this is something I'm yeah have to deal with if you will that uh, I do need to like think about the color story like listen like a normal human being almost and uh, yeah that is something I normally try to avoid <laughs> let me also put that on the lower lash line uh, let me go with the Singe Beauty, this is by the way not sponsored by Singe EO4. Let me, let me use that as well on the bottom lashes. Again, I do enjoy that you can detach the uh, mirror because I always have the problem that I think the mirror is like like on palettes is like difficult to use if you also want to use the palette itself so for this i can just lay it down on a surface and i'm fine and i don't have to like put put the palette down then dip in like put put it up again you know what i mean it's like it's a little bit easier at least for me to use it like this um but it's just me i will also try to use mint fever which is the mint shade in uh, the inner part uh, of my um, eye. We'll see. Sometimes I'm struggling here and I will just use that here, you know, just to give it a little bit of a mix. Just not. This is so cute. Does it fit in my outfit? Oh no. But I mean, we don't need to like fit an outfit if we don't want to, and probably I don't. So let's put that here in the inner part so that we have like this, and I will also put that on the inner part on my lower lash line. We will of course use, I think, like um, another shade to highlight the inner corner, but I mean, you know, so that's looking quite cool. Does it look pretty with the look itself? We will see, but with the lips especially, but I mean, listen, go big or go home, you know? We will of course use uh, the deeper shade, which is Earth Ship, this one, um, on like the outer edges. And we will use, let me see, what do I want to use? I think I want to use the Blend Bunnies uh, Beef 4 to put that in. And this is again the uh, more green, deep green shade. And we will just put that here on the outer edges. Again, I didn't use the palette in quite some time. I also, like, listen, this is a smaller palette. I sometimes forget that I have one or two because I have around 70 palettes. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you forget that you own, like, 50% of the time. I forget that I own, like, palettes. Or if I really search one, I never find it, which is also bad. This is the clutter will be fun. Probably not, at least not for me. But uh, I think which which clutter will be fun, you know what I mean? Uh, I think though uh, this year was a little bit of the year where I, I really thought about palettes. Like we are in uh, like halfway through the year and I don't think like I have bought more than 10 palettes. And I don't get any like PR or something so uh, I don't get like a lot of uh, products. I don't get any products to be honest. So that is quite uh, helpful, if you will. So let's uh, do some shimmers. Okay, let's go to the uh, 
like uh, Dancing in the Sky palette by Gloss Gods. I ordered today two new palettes by Gloss Gods and I'm quite excited to be honest. So let's start maybe with the inner corner. This is Starry Night, which will be this stunning shade. To be honest, I don't know which ones I want to use. And you see definitely like this. Do want to add maybe also one that is a little bit more like teal to like bring in the teal from the palette. This is like this was more like smokier than I expected to be honest. But I mean, what did I expect? You know what I mean? I mean, I did that. So <laughs> let's do that. Let me go with, I don't even know. There are so many good shades in here like look at this and these are multi or duochromes just as, just so you know like listen i don't even <sighs> which ones do i want to use oh man i think i would start with the northern light maybe not wait can you see this maybe let's not start with northern light to bring another color let's start with this one Ah, this is pink as well. Let's start with paint the sky. This is like a green, like a deep green teal to a light, like lime yellow. <sighs> Listen. These palettes are so pretty. And uh, yeah, these palettes are so damn pretty. Should have sprayed that because fallout. But look at this. Oh, so stunning. And again, it's in a uh, right, I don't know if anyone can see, but in the right light, this is looking also like teal, but it's also looking like mint and may green. So yeah, it's looking like everything, if you will, which I love. And then let's add maybe Natural Wonder, this one, because it does have some teal. I'm trying here. I'm trying really to like get a look that is like cohesive. Let me spray it first. First, because we all know how the last one went. Listen, it's not a big deal. Uh, it did give a little bit of fallout, but we don't need to. No. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. And this is like, oh, like a look at this. Oh God, is that pretty. And again, if you spray your brushes, you don't get a lot of fallout, which I should have done with the first shade, but we were fine with that. So, oh God, this is so pretty and so beautiful indeed. Like, look at this. <gasps> Oh my god, this is stunning. Stunning. Let me finish that up and I'll be right back. Well, this is the final look. I added some liner, which is my trusty old NYX. And this one is in Turquoise Storm, which I mean, that I think fits. And then my lashes are a little bit out there for me. These are the Kiss, uh, let me see. Do you do you lashes? And I think these are wet look wet look i cut them you can definitely see i cut them quite a bit because i don't have that long listen i don't have those big eyes so yeah but i absolutely love this look it is so fun it is wet looking i absolutely love the palette uh, or palettes i mean there are two of them just saying but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed my stop uh, shop my stash if you want to see more of that like, leave it down in the comments. I would really appreciate if you do so and tell me if you like this or not. I think also, like, yes, it's a little bit much with the lip, but I don't think it's it's fitting perfectly. So I'm, I'm good with that. And I mean, look at this. Oh, I absolutely love it. I could wear this all day long, all week long, all month long, I would be fine. I'm so glad I um, tried all the products again and I totally forgot about like these gems, like the brushes, the foundations, the highlighter. I'm so glad 
that someone recommended and said that let's do shop my stash i absolutely love it and like i said it is so pretty i absolutely love it i hope you did as well and yeah without further ado i wish you a beautiful week um and uh, we will see us in my next video so bye guys Thank you.